great. Oh, I did enjoy that. Thanks to you, yeah! the way to Bowerstone is now open again. You're almost famous enough. A few people are whispering of your deeds, but that's not quite enough. But now... Thank you very much. Thank you. I mean that. Have you seen that? Hmm. You really are a With a few of more deeds like that, the abbot will have no choice but to I accept you as the escort. I will now you my latest composition. Yeah! Brilliant. Great oh, not stuff. Bad. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, whatever. I choose to ignore that. Blunderbuss yeah! pistol, rifle and more. Yeah! You've almost done it. I'm sure a little more renown will do the trick. Yeah! <laughs> Though it's true that their motives are... You've done it. Almost everyone in Oakfield has heard of you. Now you can go back to the abbot. Pretty easy on the eyes. I'm afraid it'll fall apart in my hands. It's you. I prayed for your return. I heard what you did in Rookridge. I think you could be of great use to us. Come. Basically, go to the sacred cave and escort the monk to the wellspring of light. The cave is not far. You probably passed it on your way here. Our strongest monk will be waiting for you when you're ready. Now then, I must gather. Our first hero awaits us, even if they do not yet realize it. Nobody knows. Ah, I knew my lovely singing voice would bring the crowds.
So you're my escort then? My father said you'd be coming by. Hey there, boy. Hello. Oh, you're a strong, handsome fellow, aren't you? I feel better having you with me in that cave. Yes, I will. I'm Sister Hannah. Some people call me Hammer when they think they're being clever. They're not. But I can't do much about it because monks make a solemn vow never to bash anyone's face in. Did my father mention that? Yeah. Whatever fighting's to be done in there, it's all yours. We require a hero, not a pacifist monk. We'll need her to find a reason to fight. I don't mind telling you, I'm a bit envious. You get all the excitement and I get to carry this bloody thing like some sort of mule. I mean, look at it. It's enormous. Golden or not, how much water does a bloody acorn need? After you. has been in here for maybe a hundred years? Well, no monks anyway. I guess an adventurer or two could have come in, but if they got out alive, I was thinking about it. Look up there. They're lovely. I think they're called wisps. Souls of the dead who never left this world. It's actually rather sad, isn't it? This should be the central chamber. Wow, I've never seen anything like this, ever. Now, according to my father, we need to go through these three doors in order to collect the water. Putting weight on the pressure plates will open the doors. This one's the first. There you go. Take both of us to get the water flowing. I stand here so I can catch it. And you need to stand on that one. Right, there it goes. Oh yeah, I can feel this thing getting even heavier. That's nice, that is. So far, this isn't too bad. A couple of steep bits, but that's it. I really hope they find someone else to do this next time. Mind you, I'll be an old lady by then, so I'm probably off the hook. You know, this is probably going to be the highlight of my life. The day I carried a jug through a cave. Hardly epic poem stuff, is it? Did you hear something? No. Probably just my imagination. Don't talk much, do you? Right, I reckon that's all the water we're going to get.